Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So I am back to do this really, really pretty look and it is so amazing for fall. It's actually inspired mainly by, you know, greens and, you know, army kind of. I'm just like, why not do a green? Um, so if you want to create this look, keep on watching. Thank you for watching. And I also have a giveaway going on right now, so I'm going to leave the link down below so that you can go check that video out. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right in with my eyebrows. I love to do my, um, I love to use Anastasia tip brows. I always do my eyebrows first because I feel like if my eyebrows does not go right, it could mess up my whole entire look. So, I'd rather just do my eyebrows and if they don't come out right that day, then I just won't wear makeup, period. Okay, so now I have two paint pots by MAC. Um, I have one in soft okra and then I have one in quite neutral um, or quite natural. Yeah, quite natural. So I, I'm going to go in with both of them, but you don't have to go in both of them. You can actually just use like um, foundations or concealers. Well, concealers are a bit thicker and creamier, so I would definitely recommend concealer. So first, I'm going to go in with soft okra on my eyelid. So that's all I'm going to put on my eyelid for now. Now with the same brush, I'm going to go in with Quite Natural. And I'm actually just going to put that in my crease and up. And as you can see, I did not blend out my um, my eyebrows. And I just like for that to sit naturally. So you just want to outline now. Just in case you went a little bit above and beyond with your paint pot. You just want to start right in your crease. And bring it all the way to the side. Just to clean it up 100%. And you want to meet it with the actual concealer. I'm not going to really blend this out too much. I'm going to just hit it with the beauty blender just a little bit. Just to push in the product so that it won't be like a weird layer. Like, look at that. It looks so bad. Now I'm going to go in with a, I'm just going to run in with a translucent powder really quick. I have an e.l.f. translucent powder. It's the HD high definition powder. And I'm just going to use any random powder brush. This one. And I'm just going to go over my um, eyelids with this to say I'm just gonna put my Carmex on really quick and I'm gonna put my primer on now normally I would put my primer on first before I put anything on even on my eyeshadow but since I was using um, these paint pots they're heavy and that's just too much product to put on your eyes to put a primer on and then a paint pot then an eyeshadow girl, your lids will start sliding. Or your lids will get super itchy. So I'm using my e.l.f. face, um, my Poiseuille's face primer. Um, this stuff is really good. It's only like $3 or 5 for most, but I believe it's $3. And you could actually win one in my giveaway that I have going on. Make sure you check that out. I'll leave all the information down below. 
to the video that you can watch so you can whip yourself a paint pot, a palette, all of that. So I'm going to go in with my Coastal Sense 252 eyeshadow palette and I'm actually going to use the first one that looks really multicolored and I'm also going to use this one that has all the browns and the greens like the earth tones. And it actually comes with three trays and then this one's like the oranges and the yellows and things like that but I'm not using that one. So now for the first step, I'm going to go in with this super, 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 super dark brown. And I'm going to take my blending brush for this. So this is my blending brush. It's by e.l.f. It's actually called a contour brush. But I use it for blending. And I'm going to hit this brown right here and I'm about to put that all in my crease baby And now that I've blent that harsh brown into my eyes, I'm going to grab my greener palette. And I'm actually with the greener palette, I'm still going to take the blending brush. And I'm going to go in with this really like, I'm not going to call it like a gold, but it's like a mixture between gray, gold, and black right here and I'm just gonna blend that in my outer corner just to give myself some pop out you know nobody will be expecting that honey nobody will be expecting that pop out I'm gonna take this green right here, super dark, and I'm just gonna place that right on top of that white that's left on my eyelid. This right here. And you just wanna pack this on. The blending brush I'm gonna bring a really really um, light color I'm actually gonna bring this silver in over here and I'm just gonna hit all right here with that silver um, and I'm just gonna take a really lighter brown Um, and I'm gonna get a better blending brush because this brush is actually super stiff and I just feel like I'm not gonna get anywhere far with that brush. So I'm pretty much good on the eyes. I'm just gonna go in with a mascara and I'm gonna use Revlon Lash Potion. So I'm going to go back in with my um, concealer just to crisp up underneath my eyebrows a little bit more because as you can see they started to blend in and I hate that. I'm going in my Maybelline Fit Me and this is actually the dewy look.
I'm going to use a mixture between toffee and chestnut. And these are LA Girl Pro Concealers. I don't even think I need to mix it. Perfect. This looks so good. This is my concealer color that I use. So I'm using Shaded by Jade um, Go Bananas Powder. With my contour products, I typically use Elf, but I wanted to try this product and also being though, the look is very intense and the lipstick that I'm going to be using is going to be a little um, unusual. I decided to keep it kind of calm and things like that with my contour. So I'm going to use this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I actually have light to medium. I cannot find medium to dark for the life of me. Every time I go somewhere, I go to Walmart, anywhere that sells them, drug fair, all of that, they do not have dark. I mean, medium to dark they just only have light to medium and I'm just like bruh good thing I'm caramel like I'm in between you know so I'm like I could I could use both I would prefer medium to dark but I can use light to medium so with that being said I am going to grab my angled brush I'm gonna go in with my contour and my sculpt And I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I love to use a blush before I blend everything out. So, and my highlight also, I almost forgot. So I'm going to go in with my blush first with the same brush that I contour with. And you want to use like an ashy color because all of this going on, you don't want to have like a pink or anything like that. So I'm going to go in with this like mauve kind of color back in with my black radiance palette and I'm gonna actually take the highlighter color that they have to offer and I also was gonna use this one here which is by um, got a glow which is by elf it's a elf blush so you can use whichever one you choose I actually think I like I might do a combo with both of them by Real techniques oh buffing brush sorry so I always tell people this with my highlight to blend everything in I like to go in circles for about three times and then I like to go in lines so to keep it defined but yet blend the harsh line so like this three times in like a certain area and then we're just gonna go like that and then in my eyes we could just dust it off I'm just gonna go in with my setting spray because everything is pretty much effortlessly blended out and I'm gonna use my elf makeup mist and set and I use three dollars <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with my um, Viva Glam Rihanna 2 it's a frost yes you guys haven't seen this in a long time and I'm just gonna put that on my lips 
And like I told you, like the eye shadow is crazy, the lips are crazy. So you want it to keep the actual face makeup toned down. And that's pretty much our look. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye, those.